Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna not really take a look at the team. It's just gameplay in the background as we're gonna talk a bit about the GoFest, which was just like two days ago. I'm recording it like one day after this, but I have to do some editing anyway, so it's gonna come out a bit later. You're gonna see some lag here, which is beautiful. But yeah, let's talk a bit about how the GoFest went compared a bit to the last GoFest. Like what could they do better? What was already great? Um, what did I get in general, like overall haul and yeah, like I had actually a really decent go fest I would say it was not like the best or the craziest like Last go fest in my opinion to say that like already I thought like was better than this one Which was mainly because of the quest in general and the Pokemon you could obtain but what was like way better in this go fest was like the shinies you can get like you're gonna see my shiny collection right now on the screen you had a uh, way higher shiny chance what i remember from like last go fest i think this time around was like around one in 25 i think i got like around 70 shinies in total over the whole go fest which was pretty nice, a bit lower, I think, like 65 or something, which was like pretty, pretty decent. And what was also amazing was like the whole benefits we had, especially the jungle hour. I used like during the jungle, like in general, during the whole first day of GoFest, I used um, what's called the star pieces. And during the jungle hour, we had like 500 plus stardust for every catch you do after it got like unlocked. It was like totally broken. I made over 1 million starters in the first day of GoFest and like half a million on the second day. I think in total, yeah, nearly two, nearly 2 million I did make during the whole GoFest, I think, because I always spent like something during the GoFest already. So that was like amazing. I had like some cool shinies. The sock was like traded from someone because I didn't have like a lot of good luck or shinies on the first day. I got like a lot of them, but not good ones. Here you see the unknown. That was the second day. The second day I got like crazy good shiny. Like I had, I had like the unknown there and I had like also this Dano here, which was like so nice. I was so happy to get, get this thing. The temple. Then like I had like such a blast in the second day. I sadly didn't get the Snorlax, which I really wanted to get, but I gonna love the temple real quick because I'm also taking into some video about that in Ultra League. But I have to get some more extra like, can you add I have like still mine that I can trade. And yeah, in general, like the shinies were like really really cool. And what was also really sick was that we had like all the uh Chimeco spawns, we had the uh what's it called? The Ordino spawns, which I was in that's why I make a video about the Ordino, which were like really really cool and yeah like in general like this spawn were like really really nice and uh, in terms of the shinies and the stardust you get but in general like for pvp specifically uh, there were a lot of good ones though but most of them i like, grind my ass off in other events we had before like for galarian stunfisk right? the normal stunfisk went where i was like outside every day for two three hours just to get the candies done we had like skarmory where we had the uh, what's it called the nose pass event which i was like going crazy for the same for the bastion like all the prior events where it was more difficult to get them like you got them way easier now which is fine but of course like you always kind of think like mm, why did i do it now by the way for this team here of course i would try to get the bulkiest team out of there it didn't work out slightly even like what the hell and I tried to try that like around the Audino. Audino I thought would be a bit bulkier than it actually was in the end. Like Audino has similar stats, I think a bit better stats than, and I think it's just similar stats to Azumarill. So it's also really, really bulky, but it has like a trash moveset. And uh, what I thought was, it was a fairy type, I thought that, because I know that the Mega Evolution is a fairy type, but they just add the fairy type with the Mega Evolution, so. Yeah, that was kind of my mistake. I shouldn't have wasted, I think, like 300k starters on this thing. Yeah, I think even more. Yeah, but hey, I still have it and I wanted to make it uh, at least a video on this. But with this team I play here, you have to kind of try to get like rid of one of the opponent's Pokemon, then like survive with all your Pokemon. But yeah. The second day, we had like all the raids and I did like, I think in total at the end, like around 45 raids. I got nothing. Like, I didn't get a single good Pokemon from Raid other than the Dano, what you could say, but like in terms of IVs, you see them all on the screen. What the hell was that? They are all completely garbage. They are all bad. Like, there was not a single one that has like, I think the very best was like a 
13, 14, 15 Groudon. There was another single one that was good, like, what the hell? And I was like writing and I was like, oh, and the next one must be good because this one was shit and the other one was also shit, but they were all trash. All of them were garbage. Not a single one that was usable. And I'm right now at 99 Kyogre rates I did in total and I still don't have a single one that was above 91% IV. Not a single one. So yeah, the rights were all shit, but I had at least some luck with the normal encounters this time. But I also did one lucky trade, which gave me this beautiful thing here, this Dialga. And this Dialga is a hundo. This is the first lucky trade that got me a hundo. If you didn't know, the chance of a hundo from a lucky trade is around 1 in 64. I did around 300 plus lucky trades in total already in Pokemon Go. Not a single hundo. And now we finally got one with the Dialga, which was beautiful. And yeah, the only other thing we basically still had to talk about about the Skullfest is most likely the Meloetta. Meloetta for me, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm always like, if I look at the last Skullfest, I was always so unlucky with the IVs from my Pokemon there. I think I had like nearly the worst possible Great League Victini. I had a good, actually, Great League Jirachi, but it also had like still completely trash IVs, but uh, like at least came close to 1500 CP. You couldn't get a Great League Meloetta this time around because the CP were too high. It was like 1700 guaranteed. And yeah, let's take a look at my Meloetta, what I got. Because hey, we have like this cool special screen that they gave us. I actually thought of putting more gameplay from um, the actual game in there and like record more but then i thought okay i'm actually like someone if you take this events kind of competitive and grinds a lot like i walked like i don't know i think i walked like over 50 plus kilometer during the two days there i think it was like more like 60 or something which was like yeah i was basically walking the whole time was grinding the whole time that's why i have like 60 plus shinies and stuff like that i usually take those events pretty serious while i'm not playing other events basically like well, outside events basically because for me it's like just a waste of time. I'd rather play like during normal events. So you always have to throw like three balls against this Meloetta to catch it. It was basically the same with all of the mythical and mythical encounters. And here you can catch it. And let's see. We also had Schneck, I guess, in the background. Nice. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna get the Pokedex entry here. And. It is horrible! You cannot use this thing at all. Like, there's no reason for me to use this thing at all. And if we could look at the stats it would have for Ultra League, where you can only really use it, and where I'm also gonna make a video about, it gets to 2445 CP. Because if I put it one higher, it would get to 2501 CP. That's basically the worst possible IV spit I could have asked for. Thanks for that, but this is always the case, like I'm super unlucky with all those encounters, I'm super unlucky with the raids in general. I think I did like 1400 or something legendary raids in total and I have three 100% ones. The chance there is 1 to 216 I think. Like my rate is just super horrible there, I should have had like way more than I got right now. But hey, that's just the game I play, I'm just really bad at getting good IVs. And yeah, I don't know. Like at the end for GoFest, I think the quest line was really garbage. I didn't enjoy the quest line at all. If you can compare like the quest line from last year and the one from this year, last year was like so much better in terms of rewards, in terms of Pokemon you could get there. Last time we had like all the mythic, uh, the shadow, like Moltres, shadow Zepter, shadow Articunas, like some counter reward. And this time we had like some bad costume Pokemon and nearly no like paid items which was kind of sad and yeah in general like this is something I really didn't like what I also didn't like were like the Pokemon that they choose to give us like most of them were like kind of garbage like during the jungle hour I think nearly 50% of the spawns were starters but then you saw, had like the crazy rewards for like the jungle hour at the end where you would get like so much starters. I think the other rewards all were like really bad. Like in general, like you got sli slightly more XP for spinning stops and like some more XP for like getting like excellent 
throws and stuff like that, which I thought, okay, like, what's the deal? Like, I want to catch like the mo more Pokemon, and I'm not gonna go here and sit there for every for every Pokemon and try to get the excellent throw in. Like, I'm not gonna do that. So I think that was kind of bad. For the second day, I wish there was like something else than just only raids. And then you had like too many Pokemon in raids that were like garbage and no one wanted to play. So I had like one hour where I think out of like 90% of my uh, gyms had a Reggie Steel on them and like no one wanted to play them. So there was like for like half an hour, there was nothing we could do there at all in my town because like on 15 raids or on 15 gyms, there was like Reggie Steel. Like what the hell? And yeah, in general, I didn't like the second day in terms of the general idea i liked still the spawns the spawns were good and the second day i think the spawns were better on the second day than on the first day i had like way more rarer stuff on the second day actually and better stuff from instance in general i think instance on the first day was like so scam like i didn't get a single tyranitar not a single gavantula not a single umbreon i only got like really bad stuff from my instance that day but the second day was a bit better in terms of that Shiny chance on the first day was like insanely good. Can't say anything about that. And the dust I gained on the two days were like also really nice. I still like the last one better, but for five dollar, like you cannot complain at all. Like if you relate that to like other stuff, other events, we had the Mr. Rhyme event, which was completely bullshit. There was nothing good about that, other than getting an exclusive Pokemon, which is still exclusive, which I don't know why. Other than that, like there was nothing at all for this event. You had like some special quests that were also garbage and you paid like $11 for that. And then you have like this event which goes for two days, gives you tons of shinies, gets tons of resources. And like that was just way, way better. But in, if you compare it to like the Kanto tour and the last go first, I think that was worse than both of them. This is just of course my opinion. I like the other two way more in terms of like gameplay experience. At least I have them better as like in my mind still. So I still liked it. Like I still had a lot of fun playing it, but still, I don't know. What is your opinion on all this stuff? How, what did you get from the Gophers? What was like your biggest achievement there? I think the Gophers was really good, but not as good as the last two big events, but I'm still uh, the, the thing that bothered me actually the most is that we didn't get a single new Pokemon other than the Meloetta. Like, give us like some of the Gen 6 Pokemon we don't have. Give us some Pokemon that... I can't even talk anymore. Gen 5 Pokemon we don't have. Like, what the hell? Like, just give us, I don't know, some crazy cool stuff. Like, something that's like worth like looking for. But no, it, uh, it wasn't really the case. But hey, it still was fine. I hope you enjoyed the Gophers. I hope you had a lot of fun and... Hope I see you in the next video. It's gonna end here. I think we didn't get a single win with this team, but it was still at least some bulky Pokemon here belling each other.